Fred Smith was an undergraduate at Yale University in 1965. As part of his coursework, he wrote an economics paper exploring the transportation of goods in the United States. It's how things get delivered to you and me. He found that shippers were transporting large packages and items either via truck or through passenger airplanes. He thought he had a more efficient method. He wrote a last minute paper, as you do, about how a company transporting small items via a plane would be a much better business model. Because he was rushed, he never really got around to explaining in the paper how that company would run, and he ended up getting a C. The funny thing is, he still didn't give up, and in 1971, he actually launched the company he was speaking about. But within three years of founding the company, Federal Express, as it was called, was actually on the verge of bankruptcy. They were losing over a million a month. That was because of rising fuel costs, competitors in the same market, and at its zenith, it was only worth about $5,000. Smith even made a final pitch to General Dynamics, hoping for more funding, and it was rejected. Most people at this point probably would have just shut down. Rejection, the grade C, losing a million a month. But Fred Smith had different ideas. Smith actually ended up flying to Las Vegas that weekend with all of what the company had, the $5,000. The Monday morning after, the company had $32,000 thanks to his blackjack skills. That money made it possible to cover fuel costs for just a few days more. Soon after the company was able to raise significant funds, he went around to multiple places to find sponsors, investors, people that believed in what he was trying to achieve as a service. The amazing thing is that he was creating a company that we all know today. It's called FedEx. It now operates in over 220 countries and has an annual revenue of over 45 billion dollars. The interesting lesson that we can learn here is that there were countless occasions in Fred Smith's life where he could have said, that's it, it's not working for me. He could have stopped when he got that C for the paper. He could have stopped when he was losing a million a month. He could have even stopped when he finally only had enough to just last a few more days. But he believed in his vision. He had belief, he had conviction about his idea and the process and the service that he was creating. And that's the lesson here. If you really really want to achieve something, you'll find a way. And if you don't, you'll find excuses.